Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today's video is the return of da -da 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 -da, the empties box. I have not done an empties video in about 10 months. I was going through my old videos last night on my channel and I had seen that I hadn't uploaded an empties video for 10 months and I was also going through Jay's wardrobe and I'm sorting out both of ours like trying to really organize that um, and I'll be doing a video on that but I was going through his wardrobe and this was at the top of his wardrobe overflowing with stuff there are like six more items on my dressing table at the moment because like it's literally just overflowing with things so I wanted to um did empties video get all this stuff thrown away and out of the way so i can start um popping new things that i have emptied in here for this year there's a lot of stuff in here as you can see i'm gonna literally go through it as quickly as i can and um depending on how long the video is i might make this into like a two-part kind of thing so if you would like to see another um empties video then pop a little comment down below and let me know in the comments section i will get through as much of this as i can but i doubt I doubt I can get through um, all of it. I have really missed doing empties videos. I love them. I feel like they're such a good thing to like, a season to season, it's so fun to see like what you've used up, what you've loved and stuff like that. And it's also really, really good to see what you like want to repurchase. Um, so like there's a few things in here that I'm looking at that I'm like, oh, I forgot I even had that and like how much I loved it. So yeah, I'm gonna work my way through this um, and just get through it as quickly as I possibly can. So first things that are on top seem to be like candles and i'm going to try and stick to um like a theme but the first thing that is on top are candles the first one which i have seen and i love and i was actually going to buy another one of these the other day is this it's from b&m it's a woodland wick um orange and cinnamon candle it's all like broken inside obviously it's empty i might keep the pot because i think it's a really nice pot and it's like one of those like seal shut ones this smells amazing i loved this around um like really from kind of like october onwards it smells oh divine i was going to buy another one of these and um, the other day i was in b m and i thought you know what i'm going to get one but then i was like i don't really want to light an orange and cinnamon candle when like spring is almost here so yeah i might get one and just like store it away i don't know if that's weird but um yeah these are really really good they're like the knockoff of the um woodwick um candles um but they're really really nice and they crackle like the um if i can show you if i take all this out the wick inside just need that the wick inside um crackles as it burns which is lovely and it has like a nice like sound effect to it you can hear it crackling so yeah i love this brand of candles um yeah we'll definitely get myself another one of these i love that scent and they also do a, a darker one that is just cinnamon it's lovely another candle and i made a video about these candles um when was it when did i do it it must have been like around just before autumn i bought a load of these candles again they're from b&m they are from the brand essence and this one is radiant red maple i've got loads of these somewhere they might all be in like on my bedside table somewhere like all empty ones again i don't know whether to keep the pot or not like to get all the wax out because i think if i just pulled it it would move um these were really really nice candles they had two wicks on them which i loved i will link down below um the video i did like a haul video and i bought a load of these like i think I bought about 10 um, and i went back afterwards and bought some more um yeah these were 2.99 each i think they are really really nice candles they burnt for quite a long time i did like the scent of them oh they're just lovely and they're kind of the like um again like a knockoff for the bath and body works candles um and they're in b&m and they were really really good so if you're into like your candles and your bath and body works products and you can't get your hands on them these were definitely like a, an amazing jeep for those so that's the next candle there's loads of candles i'm trying to get through them as quick as i can next candle is this one which i think is probably my favorite out of all of them it's from tk max it's from dw home and it is the candy cane um scented candle 100 percent. i'm keeping the pot to this because i absolutely love it i just need to dig the last little bit of the candle out i just think it looks so beautiful like i mentioned they're from tk max it wasn't that expensive and um i have since been back i don't know how much it was maybe like five pound maybe i can't really remember um i mentioned it on my social media though when i got it but um i have been introduced to dw home through buying this candle sorry that like it's going funny um 
but yeah i was introduced to this um brand through tk maxx and i have gone back and i've only ever like concentrated on seeing what new candles they have got in there they've got a really lovely one out of the minute that's called peony which i definitely want to get my hands on i might go and get it later because i really really like it it's in like a bright pink packaging um but i love the packaging this love the scent of it it was very like pepperminty and exactly like a candy cane but it wasn't like sickly or anything like that so yeah love that candle there's so many candles the next candle is from aldi believe it or not and it is their lion basil and mandarin number one luxury fragrance candle this was around the maybe like 3.99 kind of mark um i'll try my best to link everything down below but it's from aldi these are again meant to be like a dupe for the joe malone candles i love them they're two wick candles a two wick candle just gets me i love a two wick candle um, and if you get a three wick then it's like whoa this was a lovely lovely candle it lasted a really long time it looked really nice just like out like it's a really nice um jar i don't know whether to keep them i don't know if it's really weird that i want to keep everything i've just dropped that on the floor um but yeah no really really like this i know they do loads of other fragrances and stuff so yeah i would definitely um check that out next candle is this one which is a um the country candle company my dad actually got me this from um when he went to edinburgh this is the red amber and clove um candle again loved this it was obviously more of a like christmas scent i can open it um it was more of a christmas scent i thought it was really cute like the little packaging i had this on my bedside table i can't oh, oh it smells like a grotto oh it is so festive it is so lovely um i don't know how much this was i doubt it was expensive my dad got it for me from um scotland so yeah that's that i've never seen these in shops so um i'd be interested to know where you can buy those and i think that is all of the candles i think it is let's get on to the beauty stuff so first things first that i'm just going to reach in for is this which is the mac prep and prime fix plus i have not used this for ages and look how gross it is i don't know if you can see that but that is what is left of my fix plus i have no idea what it is it's like a salt or like a granule of something i'm not too sure um would i repurchase this probably in time but i never really used to use this like as a fixing spray i don't really use fixing sprays um i would just use this like with another product like eyeshadow or like a glitter or something yeah i haven't really used fix plus for absolutely ages right i'm just gonna have to dive in next thing is this which is the foam burst imperial leather love these so much i don't know if i can oh okay i can get some more of that out i don't really want that out Ugh. these are like the nicest thing to use in the shower if i'm not using like a lush product um i will go for these you can get like loads of showers out of them and they're just like really like luxurious feeling um yeah love those um yeah do you know what else i can say about foam next is this which is the batiste instant hair refresh dry shampoo plus with a hint of color divine dark i love these however i probably wouldn't repurchase this for ages because i'm into and i'll just show you quick because i've got it somewhere here this one is like the more expensive version of this um which is the super drug own one and i much prefer this because it's a lot darker and um like it's amazing just to like cover up your roots and stuff so i would rather buy this um at the minute than repurchase this i don't know like the difference in 150 mil and this has got come on tell me somewhere quick tell me somewhere how much is in here Oh, 200 mil so there's 50 mil difference i always buy this one when it is on offer which is like 1.99 and you get like two um and this um yeah it's a lot more it's about the three pound kind of mark which i probably would reach for this one more um and this one stays nice and cool as well so yeah i'd rather have this one than repurchase that next thing is this oh, i haven't used one of these in ages this is the garnier um micellar cleansing water i love these i'm definitely going to buy another one i've started using um them again because i've like been a bit lazy um recently and this is a really really nice one if you're looking for a really good affordable one bioderma is amazing but it's more expensive than this um but yeah this is lovely and this is like on offer sometimes for like two pound or something so definitely worth getting those and you can also get them in a smaller like travel bottle for like a pound um love a cleansing water next thing here is this which is the nip and fab um dragon's blood skin cleansing fix no what just made that up dragon's blood fix cleansing pads i bought this years ago like ages ago 
I even remember what shop I bought it from and I haven't been there in like two years. Um, I liked these when I first started using them. I don't know if I would repurchase them just because like I haven't used them in ages. So yeah, I haven't, I can't say I've missed them, but they were really, really nice. If you're looking for a cleansing pad, um, I would 100% recommend these, but I just don't tend to use that kind of product anymore. But yeah, if you're into cleansing pads and stuff, I would definitely recommend using something like that or like that exact product. Next thing is, what is this? why have I got hand gel? I don't even remember what this was like. I don't remember. Carex Care Plus Macadamia Oil and Vanilla. I guess I really liked it because it's in my empties. Oh yeah, it does smell quite nice. Um, yeah, what more can I say? It's hand soap. Maybe give it a go. I guess I liked it at the time. I can't remember half of this stuff. Next thing is this. Oh, this is a must have in your skincare collection um this is the deep cleansing lotion from clean and clear this is amazing i have quite large pores on my chin and around my nose um and sometimes i get blackheads but not really that often but this is amazing to like clear it i sometimes get it like when i wake up this probably sounds gross but i'm sure it, like loads of people have it like i can rub my chin and like when i've woken up or like around my nose and kind of like rub the dirt out if that makes like any sense to anyone i hope there's somebody else out there let me know if you have that as well this like is like a quick fix you can just wipe it over um your chin around your nose perfect if you're having like a no makeup day it does kind of like i don't want to say burn but it does sting a little bit but i feel like it's working if it stings um so yeah can't rave enough about that i need to get myself a new one of those i'll pop that to one side along with the cleansing water to get myself another one of those i love them just pop it on like a cotton pad or something next i have these which are um deep cleansing nose strips for your pores links well with the clean and clear product um these basically you just wet them pop them on your nose or on your chin or on your forehead wherever you have large pores and um you leave it they dry and then you pull it off and it is honestly it's so disgusting but it is like the most satisfying thing you pull it off and then you turn it upside down it's like a little town of like dirt and stuff like it's so satisfying i have loads of these i buy these all the time i think i counted the other day that i have 17 of them in my drawer and this is only a pack of six so you can see how many i've bought these are really really good i tend to get them at places like body care or savers kind of cheaper places like that um probably like super drug but i actually never bought them from super drug but i wouldn't go to boots and buy them because i think the cheap ones are as good as the um more expensive ones so i wouldn't waste a lot of money on those next thing i think we're on to like skincare stuff now there's loads of random stuff in here oh, i thought i was a spider there Ooh. next thing i've actually got two of these one is on the other side here these are the elemis pro collagen cleansing balms these are the um cleansing balms i use at the moment which i love i have a new one on the go and actually it's here somewhere oh it's in the bathroom at the minute um yeah these i use at the moment i love them obviously elemis is more of a like high-end expensive brand so um oops dropping them um but they're lo <laughs> what am I doing with my life they are um really really nice really lovely um cleansing balms to use i've had this one i started using last year when it was christmas um, and then i bought this one just before christmas because i asked for another one for christmas so i knew that the little one would like keep me going um but yeah love these can't rave enough about those they're beautiful um products for your skin the next one in here is this which is the emma hardy amazing face moringa cleansing balm this is a obviously another cleansing balm um this is the one that i used to use before i got into elemis and i only really got into elemis because i went and i had an elemis facial and the woman had recommended elemis products for me to use so i just kind of have stuck with elemis but um i love these these i think are probably a bit cheaper than elemis ones um these are lovely both of them come with a um muslin cloth um, for you to like use afterwards um, to get rid of the balm on your face but this is lovely and to be fair I mean if I saw either of them in the shop I would go for either of them I think I love them equally I can't really remember the scent of this one that well I can't really remember the scent of that one but um, yeah I love them both equally and I would definitely repurchase one of these um, 150 billion percent because they're lovely products to you next what else is in here oh it's like christmas for empty bottles um let's go on to perfume because there's quite a few perfumes in here first one is this one which is olympia um who's this by paco rabanne i got this not christmas just gone 
I think probably the Christmas before, if not the Christmas before that. Um, this was a lovely perfume. I love the bottle of it. Like, it's so beautiful. Like, part of me just wants to keep it for the bottle, but I don't want to be a hoarder. <laughs> Would I purchase it again? I would if I was after like another high-end perfume. I have loads at the minute. I just tend to go for Chanel perfume. A bit of a Chanel-holic. I think if this was on offer, I would definitely buy it. I bought it in a gift set. So um, yeah, if it was on offer, I'd probably give it another go because I did like it. Speaking of Chanel, I have got how many? Two Chanel perfumes, I think. Yeah, there's two in here. These are both 30ml ones and they are both chance these two chance is like my go-to chanel perfume i absolutely love it it's just like me and i can't rave enough about it i love the scent of it again i have like memories with it like i um i love chance i can't i just can't i can't like say enough good things about it because i absolutely love the scent of it it's kind of like my scent there's other people in my family who wear um um coco mademoiselle and all that and that's their scent um and then i feel like chance is like my scent and um my boyfriend loves it as well so yeah always smelling good with those i'm going to throw away the bottles but they're gonna have to go next perfume that is in here is this one which is um the cheryl cole storm flower i got this in tk maxx it's about three pound and it's like a roller one and i would never normally go for a roller like if it was in boots i probably wouldn't buy it i'll just see if i can get any left out um i can't really get much out um yeah if this is in boots i probably wouldn't go and buy it um however it was in tk maxx and i saw it in a nice little um box and i was like Do you know what? i'm gonna buy it perfect for handbags perfect handbag size it smelled lovely um i really really liked it i probably wouldn't buy the bottle of it just because i really liked enjoying the, it in a roller although could you get it out no i don't think you could refill it at all um, which is a bit of a shame but yeah can't rave enough about this really really good for like a celebrity perfume that's that next thing that's a perfume is this it's actually a um, body spray but i rave about this as well this is the um new the body fantasies uh, japanese cherry blossom this is a really 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 nice body spray there's some like salt or something on there and um, this is a really really nice body spray you can get them in super jug they're really really cheap they're like 2.99 normally and then like most times they're like that product that's always on offer um this was lovely it says you can get over 500 sprays in it it would definitely last me a good few weeks and i would just like top up all the time and use it and spray it and i would always like mix it with my perfume that's on and it would smell lovely um yeah i'm gonna get myself another one of these because i really really like to doing that so i'll pop that in the little pile that's like buy again right there's a couple of foundations in here which i'm gonna mention just to round off this video so there's some like beauty and related stuff i've mentioned so much stuff in this video so i'm sorry if it's long there's still quite a lot left in here so if you want to see part two let me know um two foundations that are in here which i love and like my favorite all-time foundations the first one is the number seven stay perfect foundation this is a super light foundation in the shade calico this is like one of the most like underrated makeup products i think is probably out there if you haven't tried it you oh there's still some left oh there's still a bit left i might i might like be able to use that tomorrow <laughs> is that really bad um i'll just show you like the color match i find it so incredibly hard to um find like a really good um match of foundation for me because of how like pale i am i find it really really difficult this is like the best match it's slightly warmer than my skin tone as you can see but it's not orange at all like i love it this is about 14 pound i think it retails for but i really really like it it's a water-based foundation so it's super hydrating if you have dry skin it's a must have maybe if you have oily skin maybe stay away from it um this is just perf like the perfect foundation i think it is probably one of if not the best like drugstore slash high street product you could probably buy it's so underrated and i literally i think i mentioned this in my first ever youtube video or like no my first video was a vlog so i think i mentioned this in like my first like boots haul i must have done i've bought this for years and it is so underrated i cannot cannot rave enough about it the other one where have i just put it here um which i have currently in my makeup collection a new one is the bobby brown this is the um skin foundation stick this is in the shade called ivory i mentioned this in 
was it my last video? It might have been my last video. No, it wasn't my last video. It was my last like makeup collection video. Um, and I dig them all out. I have one currently in my makeup collection on the go. Um, but this one is beautiful for a stick foundation um it's a really really good coverage really buildable very different to the um number seven one it's like really creamy um and kind of has like a bit of a satin finish to it um yeah love this foundation it's beautiful for like a high-end one and the other thing i love is it doesn't take up that much room in like your makeup bag you can just slot it in keep it in your handbag or something top up throughout the day it's like it doesn't need that much work to look really really nice um and i love the packaging i mean it's just absolutely stunning so that is that and i think that's where i'm going to end this video because there's quite a few bits left um that are you know hair related there's some there's a couple more perfumes in there um, and some more beauty stuff so i think i'm going to leave that video there for now but if you like this kind of video definitely let me know give the video a thumbs up pop a little comment down below in the comment section and yeah let me know if you would like to see another video make sure to hit the subscribe button before you leave i upload three times a week on a monday or one wednesday monday wednesday and then friday um all at 5 p.m so make sure to stick around and see more videos from me leave any other video suggestions down below in the comments section and i will be sure to do them i've got myself a big long list now of videos to do but yeah i hope you like this kind of video i want to bring back like the old good like solid youtube videos that everyone used to do um yeah but i will see you all very very soon i hope you have a lovely weekend bye